Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. We're gonna go ahead and do some listing today. Uh, I got a few items here that I'm gonna list right now. I have more items gonna list, but I'm just gonna highlight a few items here. And um, we'll go over all the details, how much you paid, how much I'm gonna list them for, and give you a little more you know, details on the items. Now my garage is in a state of disarray. This isn't all my inventory. This is just some inventory that's been coming in here that I haven't been able to file away. I have um, up here. These are all. These are actually all listed that I was going to file away upstairs, but I've been so busy and I've been training at work, so I've had to go in the office and it's full time training. So. That's kind of annoying, but hopefully next week things will get back to normal around here, and I'll be back to working uh, from home, which I was. Uh, but let's get into this here. So, uh, first off, this slinky, my mom bought it. You know, it, it's it, it's not a good buy. This will probably go on a whatnot sale. I sell both on eBay and on whatnot. Uh, only two platforms I currently sell on. I don't do any cross listing and the primary reason is I just don't want to you know mess anything up but I've had a lot of success on eBay I've been selling since uh, 2000 on buying and selling on eBay since 2000 and I really went you know really started listing a lot more lately uh, since COVID and we kind of just uh, decided to try to do this and make this hopefully full time. I work part time at a hospital and my wife works as well too. And this has really helped us, you know, you know just earn more money, have more freedom. And hopefully this can do the same for you. Hopefully these, you will find these uh, uh, videos in You'll find some inspiration or learn something from these videos on, you know, the different items that are out there that have value. So we'll start off with this first item because this is probably the most um, uh, valuable one here on the table right now. Michael Amp Ar Arm, Arm Signature Barbell Salt and Pepper Shaker. Uh, I think it's new. I was checking it out earlier. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. There's the back of the box there. It is heavy. The hand part here, holding the barbell, this would be, or holding the salt and pepper shaker, which is a barbell. Fairly heavy. Not sure what exactly that's made out of, but that alone almost weighs one pound on its own. It's 15.2 uh, ounces. So this set is probably probably going to be a um, uh, over two pounds. Might be three pounds. Let me just uh, let me check this barbell part of it. This is the barbell, which is the salt and pepper shaker. One side, two sides, and they just unscrew like that. This one here, a nine pounds. So this is probably going to be like a three pound item. Okay, uh, I'm going to take it out of the package for pictures, and we're going to set this up. Let me hook the camera up a little bit. There we go. I'm going to set this up like so for pictures. My picture station here, I um, have a you know, ruler here. It doesn't necessarily start at zero, but everyone will be able to see pictures and get a general idea of you know any lengths that I would like them to see. And then I have my yardstick over here, which will give them a sense of how high the item is. You know, that way I don't have to... Sometimes I still will put measurements in my description, but I don't always do that because my pictures... I try to take as many pictures as possible to give everybody that's purchasing from me the most uh, realistic view of the item that they are purchasing. So I'm going to take usually a front shot. I usually take a side shot back shot, side shot. For this one here, I'll probably remove the barbell. We'll take a shot of the hand, inside the hand part, and then we'll always take a picture of the bottom to make sure they have every single angle covered. Um, this guy here, uh, you know, I'll probably 
see if I can stand it up, but I'll definitely pictures like that. If not, I'll just hold it in my hand and take pictures. Boom, boom. And maybe get, I mean, it's the same all the way around, but just get a couple of shots of the front, what I think is the front, and then the back there. And then, of course, we will picture the box and everything. I already tried to scan this with the UPC code into eBay. Nothing came up with that, but if you type in Michael Aram, Aram, and you do barbell salt and pepper shaker, this item will come up. And I think I'm going to list it. This item was purchased for $10. And I think I'm going to list this one for... It's gone for as high as $109. But it's also gone for about $49. So I think I'm probably going to list it at $60. I, there's one listed for fifth. Excuse me, for $50 right now. But I'm going to promote my item. And hopefully that will give it the little bump it needs to sell before everybody else. I'm going to take some pictures right now. We'll be back with the next item. Okay, for that barbell piece, I ended up uh, listing it for $70. And the reason is because the only other thing listed was a used one. Or actually, two other listings. One was used complete, and the other was just the barbell. And they're asking 50 bucks for each of those. Mine is unused, so that's what I'm going to go with right now. This next piece here is a piece of fused glass. And get up close. I'll show you what fused glass is basically just you know it's and it's basic form to two pieces of glass that are fused together. But what makes this a little bit cooler, see it has this little base down here, which I think was I think what it was is this thing was um just a made piece with a hole in the middle. And they glued it to maybe a votive holder, I think. A little votive holder on the bottom. And then they put this flower frog piece. They glued that flower, flower frog piece in the middle. So this is three different pieces all together. However, the reason why I purchased it, and I believe it's going to go for about uh, $25.00 is because it is a flower frog and i've sold decorative pieces like not glass but more pottery uh, with flower frogs and those go for 25 up to 40 dollars anything flower frog sells very quickly um it, for me i should say that sells very quickly for me i'm pretty sure uh, it will sell quickly for other people but i've been selling for a while and um so uh, my items may rank higher than other people's items, uh, just the way the eBay algorithm works. But flower frogs are always something to look out for. They do sell pretty quickly, and they do get a lot of attention on eBay. We're going to take pictures of this guy and disclose that it was probably it's a, it, it's a homemade piece. I mean, this fused glass looks like it was just made for this reason. It is signed, and I did find some art from this person but it's not you know it's not crazy valuable so we're gonna get this listed and move on to the next one so the next piece we're going to list here um oh by the way by that fuse glass uh ended up listing for 25 dollars and disclosed that it was three separate pieces um that appeared to all be just glued together so that's done. Next is this uh, marble carved bison. No maker's mark or anything. But it is a nice little piece here. Probably list this one for $20. Just a little carved stone bison. And, you know, everything I, I purchased here are all based on either my selling history or what has sold on eBay. Always make sure to look for solds on the eBay when you're purchasing. So that'll give you a good idea of if it's even desirable and maybe how quickly your item's going to sell. So I'm going to go ahead and get pictures of this, all the sides, bottom, top, and then get that listed. It's probably about a one, eh, probably a little bit less than one pound. Let's see what it says over here, and the scale says a little bit less than one pound. So I'll be this will go first class. 
Okay, next piece. This is a oh, exclamation point, paperweight. However, this is by Lennox, and it's a Kate Spade collaboration. And the, I guess the style is called Say the Word. So when I first saw it, I didn't think it was really anything. But after flipping it over, I was like, oh, what do you know? Now, all Linux isn't necessarily created equally. Some go high, some go low, just kind of depends. You do have to look everything up. This one here had no sold comps, zero. It had one listed item, but it's a black background instead of this uh, gold one. And that's just listed. It's listed for let's for twelve dollars. I am, and I, I did look at the vendor. You know, the person that's selling it. He does have a low feedback, so I'm gonna list mine and use the keywords like gold, of course, Kate Spade, Lennox, and hopefully sell this one for twenty five dollars. It's a nice, nice paperweight. Let me get pictures of this guy and get this one listed next uh wait what's the weight on this one this one will be about it'll be about that's gonna be a two pound item and next item up to list is this trinket box um it does have some chips on it it is made of a resin uh however with the you know with the lid closed you can can't really tell those chips i am going to disclose it does have those chips though um other than this little chipping here yeah, everything else is in pretty good shape now again no sold comps on this item just like the exclamation point multiple you know apple trinket boxes i'm calling this a trinket box and however this is a pretty old this is from mervyn's which is no longer around anymore Bathworks, and the fact that it's you know fourth of july coming up red white and blue it is an apple which you know apples desirable for teachers or you know a lot of people like apple you know sculptures so re the reason why i picked it up list this at twenty dollars and hopefully get that sold pretty quickly here with the fourth of july coming up let's see what do we got to wait on that of and that's about it's gonna be two pounds too so it's gonna be a two pound item right there so that'll be going um usps uh, parcel select until they change that i'm gonna go and get pictures of that and get that listing going now the next item is a trinket box no again there's no uh solds to go off of but I've had a lot of success selling trinket boxes. People really like them. They don't go for very much. So this is probably going to be a $15 piece. Some trinket boxes are pretty intricate and look like they can go for a lot. There's the bones in there. Look like they go for a lot, but they don't. They just don't go for that much. So when you're buying trinket boxes, buy them low. Buy low, sell high. Uh, stick by that motto. And you should be fine. This one was purchased for two dollars. I think it was like a dollar fifty-nine. And I'm gonna list that at fifteen bucks. And trinket boxes go really quickly, surprisingly, if they're priced right. This one does have a few condition issues, but the only one I can really find with dogs um, or puppies in a bathtub or like they're taking a bath. So I'm gonna get this listed really quick. Small item, less than a pound. And uh, this will be the last item that I will show you guys today. Just wanted to show you some, some unique stuff, things that you might not find uh, comps for that will sell on eBay. Now, if you are just starting out or if you're fairly new or unsure, don't buy any items that are not, that don't have any recent solds. You can definitely do more research and, you know, go back a year if you're on Terapeak, on eBay. Um, another website that I believe it goes back even further. But, you know, if there's no recent souls, 
you know, it's probably not a very desirable item and it's not going to move very quickly. And generally, you would want stuff to sell as quickly as possible. So I do believe these will sell pretty quickly, hopefully within a month or two. And, you know, I've been selling for a long time, so I have, I'm very familiar with different items that I can sell, that I can't sell, um, items that will sell quickly, items that will take a little bit longer. And so don't, you know, you may see other people here on YouTube and, you know, they're saying, you know, buy this, buy that, you know, who knows if there's, you know, sold comps or anything. If you're starting out, and you don't have a, a history of selling items that may or may not be sold, don't do it, okay? Stay away from items that are not uh, sold recently on eBay. Until you get, you know, you get your footing in and then maybe you can start doing, you know, a little bit more research and uh, trying to see you know, if it could be sold, is it a long-term item, short-term item? But again, if you're just starting out, check solds, check solds. <laughs> uh, let's go and get this picture, then we'll do a little bit of an outro. All right, and for the outro, I did want to show you guys one great item that has lots of comps that be on the lookout for, Bolo item. You'll, it, you'll notice it with this little symbol right here. And some of them don't have this symbol, but look out for this design. This is a glassy baby votive holder, candle holder. Real nice piece of glass here. Glassy baby. These little guys go for about $100. And you can find them at Good. We found multiple glassy babies at Goodwill all around $2. Take $2 and we turn it into $100. One of them was even rarer. Um, which was before they started putting the symbol on there. And that one went for, I think, $180. But be on the lookout. Glassy Baby, an amazing hot item right now, if you do find it out there. But with that, I'm um, going to wrap up this video. I uh, hope you guys liked a few items. Um, hope you guys liked the style of video. I hope this helps people. And... Uh, please leave a like. Um, please watch the video <laughs> and leave a like. I'm going to post it on one of my channels. I only have about 100 subscribers, but I'm going to start building it up. going to have more time soon to hopefully work on videos along with my reselling. I sell on eBay. I sell on whatnot. And yeah, just trying to help everybody else out there. Thank you guys for watching.